Hello and welcome back. This is our current NOP Commerce model. Today, we're going to talk about state to state exploratory. To do that, let's first figure out what state we want to create for the NOP Commerce model. Let's go to the website. We're going to use the type of currency to create our new state to state exploratory because it can be selected at any time during the workflow. We can change it on the home page or while an item has been selected. So let's edit our model to reflect that. The first thing we're going to do is create a new state. The new state is going to be called currency type. Let's create two additional actions, US dollar and European euro. Perfect. We will then create a new action here and we'll call it change currency. Now map the change currency action to the currency state. Perfect. When the model enters the state currency type and selects one of the actions, there is no way for it to go back to navigation. So we need to map dollars and euros back to navigation. There are many ways we can do this. I will show you three different ways. The first one is highlighting the action and just mapping it back to navigation. I will do this for both dollars and euros. As you can see, this way might be a little too messy. So the second option is hiding the arrows by clicking on the second box in connection from action section. Below, the action is what state it plans to go after the action has been executed. The last way is by changing the action type to previous. I will change one action type to previous and hide the arrows for the other action to show you that these actions can accomplish the same thing by moving back to the navigation state. Now, let's build the snippets for dollars and euros. Okay, moving on. Now, we're going to add the newly created snippets to the actions of dollar and euro. We're also going to create one more action since currency can be changed at any time during the workflow. We're going to add a back button to the product state. This will allow us to move back to the navigate state to select different currency type if needed. On the newly created back button, let's change the action limit to 2 and uncheck reset action limit since we don't want to have a circular workflow. Okay, let's run the model. Let us take a look at the logs. And the coverage report. Thank you for watching.